Although, before we go there, let's try to go back to the hospital. I'm just liking the conversations that might ensue. Ah, you monsieur are all back already. Did you manage to collect monsieur Trouvé's debt? Oh, well. We need a little more time, doctor. I see. Well, keep at it. I'm sure Trouvé will cough up eventually. As we are about to see now, this will take a day as well. What is that, a dog? Gustave, come in. Are you Monsieur Gustave Trouvé? I am, and you are? <laughs> um, ooh, this... I like this answer. Um, this must, must be a more reasonable answer, but let's go with this. We're debt collectors, cough up, scumbag. Debt collectors, you've angered Dr. Falre, and we're here to collect on his behalf, one way or another. Oh, mon dieu! You should never have messed with the good doctor. It's time to pay. Cough up the moolah. Yeah, cough it up, or we're going to start breaking legs. That's... That's a little much, Sparrison. Hmm. Yeah. It sounded fine in my head, but now I'm hearing it out loud. There's no need to get violent, monsieur. I'm happy to pay the debt. Oh, good. We can drop the tough guy routine, then. I don't quite have enough money on hand, but... Hmm, what to do? What to do? I know. I have a brand new invention that will blow the doctor's socks off. It's a device that will completely revolutionize the surgical field. I imagine the doctor would prefer hard cash over some gadget. No, no, trust me. This baby will easily be worth 10,000, no, 100,000 francs. The doctor will love it. Oh, all right then. Hand the device over and I'll pass along to Dr. Falre straight away. Well, it's not that simple. The device isn't finished yet. It's not finished? I know exactly what needs to be done, but I am missing some crucial parts. Perhaps if you had some time to spare, you could help me out. Go out and collect what I need. What is this? Turning into a uh, a role-playing game where we have to fetch all kinds of stuff. Um, sh sure. The game is mocking me. What? No, monsieur, that's absurd. If you have shopping to do, then you should do it yourself. Falcon, please help the man. I can't spend the rest of my life in debt. All right, all right, no need to get all panicky. We'll hear the man out at least. Great, I'll take notes. What is it that you need, monsieur? Let's see. I need a copper pot. A pot? As in like a saucepan? Saucepan? What on earth for? It's a necessary component of my invention. I can use it to build a portable electric battery. You see, when a zinc rod is suspended in sulfuric acid accompanied by a copper surface, a current is generated. Save me your scientific mumbo jumbo. One metal pot should be trivial to acquire. One copper pot. On the copper part is important. Okay, one copper pot. I wonder where we could find one of those. I've seen copper kettles at Lazal Market, although those things aren't too cheap. I can't help but feel that I saw a copper pot somewhere else. Hmm, what else? String! High grade string to bind some components of the device together. Seems simple enough. I imagine as all market would have that in abundance. Can we really afford to blow our whole budget at a market falcon? Surely there's a cheaper way to acquire string. Look, I have a loose thread on my jacket. Take it. String must be higher quality than that, monsieur. I need something that's fishing line grade. The Kingfisher. And with the pot I'm thinking... The louver? Or maybe, um... The Baron's house? Oh, I see. Was there anything else that you wanted, Michel? Some books, confectionaries, alcohol, groceries, peps? No, no, that's everything. Alright, I've got it all written down. Is he in my character list now? He is. A mildly eccentric inventor, to put it politely. A shopping list. Gustave has requested one copper pot and one reel of string. Where can we find those? I feel a little conned. We came here to collect on a debt and left with a shopping list. 
We're going to follow through and get Monsieur Trouvé's items right. We'll see. So this must be still part of the side quest. Ooh, there's a special event going on. Lecox? Lescoq? How do you pronounce that? Let's go. Hmm, Cocorico again. What a view! You can see the July column so clearly from up here. Fuerti, ah, Cocorico, you're already here. You have news about the croque monsieur, or is this about the other matter? Here you go, as requested, the full register of those who entered Paris Law School and the full list of graduates. Are they researching us? Very good, let's take a look. Now, could you please tell me what this is about, Inspector? What exactly are you looking for? Hmm... Look at this list of graduates. Do you see any names you recognize? Well, I see my own, class of 1837. And I see that moronic prosecutor, Rupert Rebington, under the class of 1846. Oh, and there's J.J. Falcon's name under the class of 1832. Very good. Now take a look at this register page from 1829. See anything amiss? Well, I don't see JJ's name, but I'm not sure quite what that implies, Inspector. The explanation is simple. JJ Falcon changed his name sometime between 1829 and 1832, right around the time of the July Revolution. And why would he do that? Why indeed? Monsieur Cocorico, you and I are roosters. We are birds of justice, birds of French national pride. But Falcon, he's a bird of prey. It is in his very nature to draw his talons and lash out those around him. I have no doubt that when the pressure rises, he will show his true colors. I'm not sure if I agree with your personality assessment, Inspector. I have always suspected that JJ was a buffoon, an imbecile, and a troglodyte, but never would I describe him as a person of malice. Hmm, time will tell. Do you need me for anything else, Inspector? Or shall I continue my investigation into the croque monsieur? There is one more thing. Take this. A pistol? No thank you, Inspector. These are dangerous times. If you face a violent threat, you cannot hope to defend yourself with that riding crop of yours. I'm well aware. I just find that these ghastly things tend to escalate situations rather than mitigate them. Hmph. That's what everyone says during peacetime. Take it. Thank me when it saves your hide. Fine, fine. I'll keep hold of it. Well, Monsieur Cocorico, you have been most helpful. I'm just doing my duty. Good day, Inspector. So what does that tell us? They're suspecting Falcon to be a fraud or someone who is portraying what he's not. I guess we already knew that he changed his name and that his father or grandfather is someone famous. But why he changed his name? I guess we figured that out already later. All right, so many places to go. Um, it'll take a day as well, except for the hospital. I guess I could go back to the hospital, see if anything's changed. Maybe the doctor has a clue. Well, no, it's the same dialogue. So if we stick to the side quest, I wonder if that's a good thing or not. In RPGs, I always tend to do the side quest before the main quest, but this must be trickery. It might, could be a diversion um, where we actually forget to do the things that the main quest, I will call it main quest for now, the story requires. And then we might lose a case or something. But for now, I guess I... Let's just get one item and then start doing the story again. And then we'll see what's from there, where it goes. Uh, I don't want to be tricked by the game, you know. Um, yeah, and of what I've seen so far in the game might trick me. 
because some unsuspecting, unexpecting things happened. Uh, anyway, so where do we need to buy? I guess we can go to the market. Seems too obvious. I'm thinking a copper pot would be. Mm, Louvre or Chateau Crinière. Let's go with this. Colleen, ah, you there. I remember you. You guys can help me out with this little dilemma. What is it, mademoiselle? Which country is better, Great Britain or the United States of America? I really do I have to answer that. Um, to my honest opinion, I can't make a choice. Maybe I'll lean a bit to USA. Um, but yeah, living in the Netherlands myself, Europe. So I must say Great Britain. Um, what would Falcon think? France against England? 19th century? I guess they weren't on the right foot then. They were not in a war or anything. Um, so it would be logical that he says USA, right? Because he's France and Great Britain are his rival country. I'm going to have to go with the USA. Because they kicked Britain's derriere in the battlefield, right? Did they? Well, sure to that, but also because they are proving themselves to be a unique and formidable nation. It's quite remarkable what they've achieved in such a short period of time. You prefer the USA, huh? There's a lot of opportunity there. What is this about, mademoiselle? Well, I'm thinking of taking a trip. A long trip. Everywhere I go in Paris, people are angry and depressed. It's like violence is about to break out any moment. I've saved up enough, so I'm going to get out of here. Follow my dream of starting a new life overseas. Who's going to look after Chateau Crinière? Well, with the barons passing, they've decided to auction off his estate. I think the Demiaus were showing some interest in the household, so I guess they can handle the household duties themselves. The Demiaus, you say? Interesting. Anyway, this might be the last time we'll see each other, so I'll just say... Au revoir, Sparrowson. Au revoir, Monsieur Falcon. Farewell, mademoiselle. I wish you a pleasant voyage. So long, mademoiselle. Don't let those Yanks push you around. So I guess we send her to the USA. And then meow. So Dame Caroline might be uh, auctioning the place. And maybe we can bid on that copper pot. Hey, Falcon, I think we forgot something. Hmm? The rebels, the croque monsieur, all that juicy investigation stuff. We're supposed to be asking questions. Oh, right, and it completely slipped my mind. See? There's something fishy going on. It's no matter, Colleen did something, did see, didn't seem like the type to get involved with rebels and arms dealers. She probably knew nothing. I suppose, in any case, she seems to be the only one with enough sense to escape before the violence starts. Yeah. Wait, what? I haven't been to the, the chateau itself. We wasted a day, uh, but we can go freely without losing a day. Back to the chateau. No sign of the housemate. Maybe she's already left the country? Yeah, maybe she has. So we can actually go to the chateau itself. What is this again? The bridge? Oh yeah, we need something for the kingfisher. Um, but yeah, we agreed to do one thing for the side quest and then we didn't actually acquire an item yet. So yeah, that was the, the agreement to collect one item and then go back to the main quest. So let's collect that string that we need. I hope I can get it from the fisher. Fisherman. Well, well, well. Toussaint, if it isn't the rude lawyers. You know, you owe me, big guy. I... I owe you? Yup, my fishing line snapped when I dragged you out of the water the other day. I had to buy a new reel. So the way I see it, you owe me two francs for the fishing line and one million francs for saving your life. 
I don't have one million and two francs. Really? But you look so bourgeois. All right, I tell you what. Two francs for the line, and we'll call it even. Sure, fine. Can I have you your broken down line? Fine, here's two francs. Consider it a gift of gratitude for saving my life. Much thanks, monsieur. Now, why are you here? Why are we here? Oh, right, we have some questions. Okay, we can do the first one, focusing on uh, the croque monsieur. Have you heard of him? Have you heard of a man called the croque monsieur? A man called the croque monsieur? Nope, doesn't ring any bells. That's a strange name, though. Did the man name himself after the sandwich, or was the sandwich named after him? It's a good point. I have absolutely no idea. I can only aspire to have a sandwich named after me one day. Sparison. Thick slices of white bread, mayonnaise, cheese, chicken, bacon, slices of sausage, honey glazed ham. Stop, you'll give us all heart attacks. How's the fishing? So, caught anything good? Today? Not a kipper. This new fishing line is really good, but I've run out of good bait, so it's practically useless by itself. It's quite an issue. Hey, Falcon, do you think that fishing line would work as the high-grade string Monsieur Trouvet wanted? It just might. Say, Monsieur Kingley, since you aren't catching anything, would it be possible for us to take that new fishing line of your hands? Sure, what's it worth? Didn't we already go over this fishing line payment business? Yeah, but it was compensation for the old fishing line. If you want to buy this new line, it's a whole separate matter. Also, I saved your life, remember? And I was polite enough to not rob the fact in your face much. Fine, fine. So how much did the new line cost? Ten francs. There's no way that that line cost ten francs. You're right, it cost one. But I added a little markup. That's obscene. Hmm, I guess it is a bit. I tell you what. If you can provide me with some killer bait, I'll give you the line for free. Killer bait? Like worms? Sure, worms, sweets, whatever. So what'll it be? Do you have some bait or do you just want to pay me the cash? Okay, so he's asking me to side quest even further. Gathering some bait. Or just getting done with it, pay him and move on. For the sake of time wasting, I have the money, you know. So normally I would take the difficult route to see what's going on, get the bait, come back. But yeah, the game is distracting me, I know it. So let's just pay him. And not decide later, because it would be wasting. So let's make the choice to pay him. I have cash. I'm done playing this stupid runaround fetch quest nonsense. Here we go. Money resolves everything. Here's the 10 francs. Excellent. And here's your line. Alright, so we collected a fishing line. A reel of fishing line acquired from the fisherman to Sang Kingly. And it gives us the first the first piece of um, the side quest evidence, I will call it. Wait, hold on. Now I have no fishing line or bait. I did not think this deal through. Oh well, can I help with something else? That's all. I think we're done here. Happy fishing, monsieur. Bye, monsieur fisherman. Hey, you know I hate being called that. Okay, so we did that the easy way. We paid him off. Uh, now it's January 3rd. What was the day when this act started? 25th, if I remember correctly. I'm not even sure. So if it adds up... We should be done in three weeks, like, like February 15th, something like it. Okay, so now, so now we got one item. And now we should focus on the next uh, thing. And that's for the main quest or main story. And for that we need to question around. So where to start? I want to visit the fox again, Prince Juan. Maybe he has some uh, insightful things to say. So I guess we need to go to R&M Asusia. 
associé and go talk to Mousy and what was his real name again? Spaniard Volpis. All right.